Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. Last time we left off, we began the final episode of this game, and it turns out that the President Zhang Fa has apparently been killed. Looks like he got smashed by Mozilla. However, that really can't be it, but uh, we investigated a little bit here, and now we're going to uh, go ahead and continue the investigation by speaking with Agent Lang and uh, looking at the body. Mr. Prosecutor, so we meet again. Indeed. Just a few days ago, we met at the detention center. Agent Lang, what brings you here? Just some boring work? Nothing you need to know about? <sighs> you always pick the worst time to show up. Anyone ever tell you that bad things happen when you're around? Just don't get in the way of my investigation, okay? I must avenge the death of our president. Okay, well, let's talk to you first here. You arrived here before us. What were you doing in a place like this? You suspect me? <laughs> Come now. I heard a scream. It was a woman who found the body. After hearing the scream, I came in through that entrance over there. Apparently, it wasn't locked. And why is there a lock on the ground over there? I should take a closer look, which we already did. When I got in... The woman who found the body was already running out, uh, running out the other exit over there. So he came in, came here around the same time we did. Why were you at the Grand Tower? Well, I had my reasons. He also said something along those lines when we first when we met the detention center. Well, maybe the same reason why uh, Francisco's there, huh? Maybe he's really a, a fan of giant monsters and he came to sneak a peek at the Mozilla set? Giant monsters? I have no interest in such things. He clearly doesn't think the murderer is a monster, either. I really hope it ain't, because that would just be, be, be weird. Huh, it's regrettable what happened to the president. Yeah, Huang was a pride of Zhang Fa, he ain't whatever, and yet... It seems that you were quite close to the president. Previous head of the Lang clan, my father, served under President... well, whoever. Wang. That's not right. I don't care. Protecting the life of the President has come long... has been... has long been our clan's greatest duty. My old man received a great number of special medals from the President himself. As a token of his trust, the President left his will to protection of the Lang clan. Those medals in that will, they were the pride of our clan. Our family treasure, so to speak. <sighs> Who would have thought the data unseal that will would arrive so soon? So then, I guess the president was like a close family friend. Huh? But during the incident at Gord Lake? Why weren't you with the president, Mr. Lang? Well, a lot has changed. It all happened over 12 years. 12 years? Same thing like that, that letter I said get, uh, get revenge for 12 years ago. I knew it. This is all coming together. Back then, he and old uh, he and old man were close friends, and our clan protected the president's life. But then, he suddenly changed. It's as if he became an entirely different person. Nowadays, he doesn't even have a shred of faith in the police force of Zhang Fa. Twelve years ago. I wonder what went on then. Even so, I still respect the man. Zhang Fa is a small country, but he carried a nation with his strength. Damn it! Just what were his what was what were his bodyguards doing? Have you already contacted the, the embassy? Yeah, of course. I also informed Zhang Fa on my claim as well. It's gotten pretty hectic over there. Well, well, with the will and all, but it's been the same here. Once the bodyguards show up, if you don't want to see me rip into them, I suggest you get out of here soon, Mr. Prosecutor. Right now, I'm just a single Interpol agent, a literal lone wolf. They probably won't let me be in charge of the investigation. But you better believe, my fangs are as sharp as ever. I'll definitely capture the culprit with my own hands, and you better not get in the way. Not saying I was. Now, just for the hell of it, I kind of want to present... Ooh, no, I ain't right. I kind of want to present this letter, because this is one that says, uh, Get Revenge for 12 years ago. Maybe he knows something about it, but I doubt it. You keep shoving irrelevant nonsense under my nose. And I'll chew to pieces. Okay. Hmm. I think I should put this away for now. Okay. 
that that was gonna work, but I was like, maybe a 12 year thing will, you know, give him a little, you know, whatever. I, I can't skip this. This leads to Grand Tower. But from where I'm standing, all I can see are just your everyday run off the mill buildings. I don't see anyone special around here either. Indeed. At least from where we're standing, that is. Now then, we have no time to waste. We should get back to investigating the film lot. Okay, that was actually a little bit different before. Okay, look at this dent or something. No, I'm just looking at a body now. Wow, he really is the president. Yes, the thing we saw him on just a few days ago. That would make this a presidential assassination, right? This is a bit flashy for an assassination. Uh, well, still, I mean, he is dead. Ah, oh, so we can. I suppose we can. We can do something. I don't know what, but um, we'll figure something out. Let's just take a look here. There are no visible exterior wounds, but it's clear that he's already passed away. So then, I guess he really did get stepped on by a, a, a monster. <laughs> it's impossible. Okay. Huh? Don't the, don't the president's clothes look a bit dirty to you? Indeed. There appears to be some sort of yellow strain. Stain. I bet it's monster drool! Yeah, drool. Kay, please be more serious. We'll need to have, we need to have forensics to have a closer look at the stain. So this is, this was the state of the body. I should make a note of it. Buy a strong piece of concrete, yellow stain in his clothes. Alright, is there anything else I can check? Hmm. There's gotta be more I can do. I guess not. I'll just keep taking a look around. Oh, there are broken pieces. There are broken pieces of concrete scattered all over, all, all, all around the president. Yes, they were probably scattered about when the ground got damaged. And they must have been when the monster foot went thud. If the culprit was actually a monster. Yeah, if it was a monster, then yeah. Hmm, it kind of looks like a hoof, the way it's split in two like that. Yep, it definitely looks like a monster's footprint to me. Phone! Let's take a look here. Don't need an answer. Let's see here. Uh, and there's there's even three of them, Mr. Edgeworth. Three, oh, crap. Hold on a minute. There you go. Ah, there are no such things as monsters. Do you honestly believe they exist? No, not really, but wouldn't it be cool if they did exist? <sighs> We're searching for the truth, Kay, not for what's cool. Ah, oh, well, it is true, but still. Can I take a look at the hoof itself? Uh, nope, I guess not. But I really don't think there's anything else I can investigate, although there, that deduce button is still there, so... I've, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see something right there. What's this white thing? Wait, is this a bone? It looks like we got a new case in our hands. It looks less like a bone and more like some kind of horn. Do I have anything in my evidence that could tell me what this horn is? Okay, so let's deduce this. Because that's probably what we need to deduce. But what is it that I can deduce here? Let's take a look at the flyer. Yep. Alright, doesn't this horn belong to that monster, Muzilla? You're right, it looks just like it. Maybe it's a prop from the film? Based on the size of the horn, the head should be quite large. I wonder how it ended up here. I'm sure we'll find out if we ask someone on the staff. Okay. So, let me just take a look at it again, make sure nothing else pops up. Okay. I think that's all there is really here. Let's ask uh, Penny about that the whole thing. Here it is. About this horn, have you ever seen it before? Huh? Well, that's Boozilla's horn. It's a model he made to use in, in our ant campaign. Where was it? It was on the ground by the back entrance. Well, that's strange. Mozilla's head should have been stored on the studio roof. I suppose the head would have been rather large, wouldn't it? 
Oh yes, it's not as big as a real thing, of course, but it's still quite large. Look, you can see it from here. Jeez, okay. See, it's right there. It certainly is large. Was lying next to the body has been stored on the roof last night. Ah. Anything else I can present to her? Maybe you like the footprints. If I remember correctly, the Mozilla in our film has has also has split ho hooves, hooves, whatever. Surely you're not suggesting the president was trampled up by a monster. Oh no! Rather, speaking as a member of the studio staff, I don't believe Mozilla would have committed murder. Giant monsters only bother the people in the movies. That's the, that's the cardinal rule for those involved in monster movies. Indeed, it would be problematic if it weren't that way. Uh, okay. I ha there has to be something to do with logic now. It has to. Um... Maybe these two go together? The footprints and the step on a monster? I don't know. Damn. Not exactly a shining example of a perfect line of logic. Okay. This is probably gonna screw me up like no other. I don't know. Maybe the like forced open, maybe like a maybe like whoever the culprit was gonna smash in the truck or something. Really? <sighs> Why am I being such an idiot? I don't want to say stuff like this and the uh, intense defense going. I'll try them. This is gonna work though. Maybe like the monster hit the fence. Nope. Shoot. Okay. I'm obviously looking at this wrong. Okay. Hold on. Let's see if she has anything else to say. What do you want? Busy gal. Blah blah. blah, 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 blah. We saw it. No way. Yeah. Nothing new. A little bucket. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That horn. But I can't really. I don't have that evidence. Uh, crapiola. Maybe that's where the horn came from. Freaking idiots, how do I do this? Sword on the roof. Shaped like hooves. I might try these two, doesn't I mean just for help and see if I can one of these has to go together. I'm just not looking the right combination. Okay. I, that was my first thing in the very beginning when I was like, when I first got those piece of logic. Maybe those go together, but whatever. I'm just I gotta think more about this. If you can't tell, I've been sick for the past like week or two, like actually two weeks. So yeah, I'm kind of I'm better now. At least most uh, for mostly most well, for the most part. But I'm still like a little a little bit. The front entrance, which leads to the tower plaza, is locked up with a combination lock. At the other end, the lock on the rear entrance, which leads to the Grand Tower, was broken. Now, where does this lead us? <laughs> I noticed one! A culprit entered from the rear entrance, right? Exactly. And knowing this, we now understand one more critical fact. The culprit must be someone who didn't know the number to unlock the combination lock. Right. If they knew the code, it wouldn't have been easier. It would have been e uh, way easier to enter from the front entrance. Entering through the back door is common sense for a thief. It's much less conspicuous. We can't underestimate a couple who thinks like a thief. Please keep your guard up. She 
it sure becomes lively all of a sudden when the subject gets brought up. To put it simply, everyone involved in the movie knows the combination for, for Locke. In other words, it's quite likely that the culprit is someone who is not involved in the film. Okay. That's good. Still have stuff here. Oh boy, this is not going good at all. What haven't I tried yet? Crap, I can't even remember what the hell I tried. I think I did Dented Fence and Sub Monster. Where did I choose a broken horn though? Really problematic. Um, Something because I don't. I like. I just. I can't think of anything. I don't know why I haven't. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Oh, that's. Hmm? Do you know something about this? Huh? I, I'm sorry. I think I was just mistaken. Lately, the prescription of my classes hasn't been quite right. I deeply apologize for my shameful behavior. That's not something you need to apologize for. Oh, something. You ain't saying, though. Oh, crap. He probably doesn't know anything either. Maybe we present the notes to him? Damn it! You don't have to show me that! Whoever killed the president, you can be damn well sure I'm gonna catch them. Agent Ling. Whenever president, uh, whenever the president is brought up, he seems to be lose his composure. I kind of feel bad for Mr. Lang. Isn't there anything we can do for him? Yes, and it's for that reason we must listen carefully to what he has to say. Which we already did. Zilla, what are you, what are you asking me about for? Or why are you asking me, uh, asking me, oh, whatever. I won't say the culprit is a monster, but it seems a little too early to say it's unrelated. If you know anything, then by all means, please tell me. Hm. The president always had a Mozilla doll with him. I've caught a glimpse of it on my on, on occasion. That's all I knew. A Mozilla doll, huh? Indeed, there was one inside the president's plane. So even a foreign president with a fa was a fan. Mozilla sure has international uh, sure has international appeal. You know how different countries are have different sounds for animal noises. So I wonder what kind of sounds a foreign Mozilla would make. I don't even know what kind of sound a domestic Mozilla would make. Ah, damn it. Ooh. Oh, combination lock. Nope. Burn tower? Okay. I think we're gonna the body once again. I don't think I'm done with this just yet. I know I this area earlier, but no one has to take another look. Okay, so it seems like it did find everything. What is this? No. So it's just my logic, it's messed up. Okay. I'm so bad at this. Let's see here, I, I, I barely did anything this damn uh, episode. It's the logic here, I gotta finish up. Three footprints on the scene, they're shaped like hooves. Wait a minute. Yeah, one, two, three. I want to say Dead Defense has something to do with like the stepped on a monster, you know, but I already checked that, it doesn't work, so let me try this. It's probably not right. Nope. Shoot. Yeah, pieces don't fit, don't fit quite right. So, okay, the broken horn. I know that. This has to go back to the doll. Now it's possible I don't I don't have that logic I need just at the moment, but try this. I, did I try this already? Yep. Crap. So, and 
I don't know if I tried the Broken Horn and Slipping a Monster because they were found together, but... Nope. Okay. I suck. I'm gonna fail this damn case already. What am I missing? What am I missing? Think, Pharaoh. Something I'm, I'm obviously not looking at here. Why the hell she react to that? Oh, okay. May maybe showing her something else that really doesn't matter. Um. Brazil is a symbol of nature, that's why it destroys cities. That's a rather sketchy explanation. He uses its horns to attacks and then, and then uh, but that's not, it's only technique. It has a sonic move sound wave attack, a sticky drool spray, and dual, dual milk st uh, shooters, a barbecue smokescreen diversion, and a leather, sh and leather shoes and bags production line ultra combo. The more you describe it, the less powerful it sounds. Well, making it look powerful is a job for us filmmakers, after all. Won't the producers of the movie get mad at them? Yep. That's a little... I can't think of anything else. Um. You guys are probably yelling at the screen right now, and I'm, I don't blame you. Can I go somewhere else? I should have thought about that. Nope. I want to say like there's still something else that I haven't... Wait a minute! I knew there's a camp! Look at that! Why did I not notice that before? It's a, it's a Phoenix and Pearl on, on Ma Maya. I thought, I, you guys thought, like, oh, I, I figured out something, but no, like, there's, there's Phoenix in my house. <laughs> Look at that, that's awesome. Um. But. No, stop looking at that. What do I do? This horn, I, I. I got a little logic. It, I... <sighs> did I look at these two already? Three footprints and sub monster. I think I, I thought I already did. Or is it me? What's the fence bro dented because of the horn? It didn't look that big to dent it. Try that. I'm an idiot. I knew it. Shit. The dent the fence and a broken horn. Neither of these things were there yesterday evening. Based on the fact that these two things have changed. Oh! Could Mozilla's head could uh, have a. Uh, indeed. The head that was on the rooftop may have tumbled down onto the ground. This is a new possibility. Which would mean that... Man, I'm an idiot. So you're saying that... I didn't know a thing was that heavy to make a dent. That's what, that's what I was thinking when Terry Long about it. So saying that it rolled off the studio roof, tumbled on the ground, so instead of saying he's something a monster, we can say that maybe it fell on him. There we go. I'm on, I'm on track again! We may have found a missing murder weapon. Oh, really? At the moment, I can only say that uh, this is just a possibility. If the giant monster head had fallen off from the studio roof... Oh, that could definitely be a murder weapon! Miss Nichols, may we, may we investigate the studio roof? The roof? Okay, I understand. Go on ahead, but the stairs can be a little bit slippery, so please watch your step. Mr. Prosecutor, I'm gonna take my leave here for a bit. There's something I have to check. Agent Ling, I wonder, I wonder if he's caught on to something. Hmm? Huh? There's that kid. Uh, 
They act like they know each other. Move it. What'd you say? Guess you just have no manners. Really? And you're an annoying old man. Quit your yapping already. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm terribly sorry. Come on, John. Yeah. Oh, what were you doing? Who was that? Somebody from the police. Why'd you suddenly pick a fight with him? Huh. That sure was a tense standoff. He didn't budge an inch, even before Agent Lang. I kinda like this theme. It reminds me of Man Mega Man Battle Network for whatever reason. Well, wait a minute, I just Capcom, so. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, let me introduce you. This is John Marsh. He's the lead actor in our movie. The lead actor? This is Child? Hi, I'm Kay Faraday. Nice to meet you. And this is Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth. Prosecutor? He's a pretty famous prosecutor, you know? But he's not wearing a prosecutor's badge. Gah! He's frightfully perceptive. Ah! John, it's probably better if you didn't go over there. That's certainly not a sight of a child you could see, or should see. However, he is someone involved in the case. I'll need to speak with him later. Huh. Okay. So now it seems like we can investigate the... Um... We can investigate the roof. If we want. And we can also speak with John Marsh, who... That kid we've been seeing. So after my uh, many blunders, hopefully the next episode I'll get back on track a little bit more. I apologize for this damn episode. I mean, I don't know what the hell's up with me. I'm just, uh, I guess you can say I'm a little bit out of it. Because I don't want to use my sickness as a damn excuse. Because I am pretty scatterbrained as is. But uh, that one, I don't know why the hell... I guess I was just thinking way too damn differently. Oh well, it happens time to time. Can't be perfect. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. I'll see you guys later.